down here is the ancient level of Imperial Rome. I'm standing on the modern street level. This excavation then, this little trench, has revealed the full height of the podium of the Temple of Hadrian the God. And what you can see then for the podium is that the construction technique varies according to its purpose. You have massive blocks of travertine stone sustaining the full weight of these Proconesian columns, and when you have an empty space and no column, well, you just use brick and tuff blocks. So they're really thinking with great precision in the use of their materials in the building of these great colossal temples of ancient Rome. And of course, we get this incredible facade, so well preserved here in the Piazza di Pietra, that tells us how important Hadrian was in Imperial Rome. This is the Temple of Divine Hadrian. He died in 138 in Baia. He's buried in the mausoleum of Hadrian. This is his temple. This is where he was worshipped. It was surrounded by a portico with beautiful depictions of provinces. They're now in many museums throughout Italy. And in the end, this is all that's left of the temple. It is now part of the Chamber of Commerce of Rome, still actively used today. Behind the row of Proconesian columns, there is the cellar wall made of volcanic stone, or tuff pepperino stone, and it's riddled with holes. Many of those holes tell us that the original temple was faced in marble. Those marble pins have been robbed out. Those marble slabs that made an impressive uh, veneer have been robbed out. But what's left behind is still something monumental. The modern street level, the tourist, in contrast to the ancient street level of 2nd century AD Rome, just beneath your feet.